it's Lisa. I am here for another video. I am going to have Levi in the video again because that's how it goes. And the video or the topic, the video discussion today is I feel like a failure as a stay at home mother, mother person, whatever you want to call it. Well, let me just dive into all of why or the circumstances of my life because I feel like a lot of people can relate to this and this is a topic that is probably not very uncommon. Also I want to share with you what I have kind of what's been put on my heart I guess from God or that what I thought about from the scriptures that relates to this. So hopefully I can bring some hope to you as well as myself. I think it's important for us to talk about real life and the struggles of life or motherhood or whatever the situation. So to get started, I feel like a failure. I have felt pretty crappy about myself for a long time now, for like since having Levi and he's 18 months now. So, for the last year and a half, I have really struggled with trying to get my crap together, trying to get my life together and have some organization and have some, like, flow and have something feel like we don't live in complete chaos all the time. And I'm not getting, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere with that. And... I think part of that is having a young baby. I have felt like that um, every time I've had a baby under the age of one because you spend a lot of time, or I spend a lot of time, caring for the baby and the house gets neglected. But now that he's 18 months old, I don't really know that that could be an, an excuse anymore. But I do have three kids, the oldest being six. And I'm not the best at teaching them how to tidy up after themselves. And I am the only one in my house that cleans the house because my husband does not feel like it is his responsibility. Whether that be, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into whether he is right about that, but he feels like because he works outside of the home and he's the only one working outside of the home that he should not have to clean the house. Whatever. So all that being said, most of the home clean, okay, most of the childcare and the house cleaning or is put on me as my, the only one responsible for that. So yes, that makes it hard to keep up, I think. And I'm constantly behind and failing at all of that. And living in a crazy messy house. My house is complete chaos right now and the dishes are never caught up with and all of that blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't want to bore you with all of this but I feel like that's just the truth and even though you can't see it that's how it is here. Those are the main things that make me feel like a failure as a mother and as a mother I've always chosen spending time with my children whether that be no, I think that might be the better choice anyways, because according to the scripture that I am going to share with you in a second, I think it relates to that, that my in most important job is to love my children and pour into them or care for them and help them get to a part in their life where they can kind of look after themselves a little bit more. So this stage in my life, I spend a lot of time caring for children and that type of care is not a thing that I can check off on a list. List. And it's in our society and culture, productivity is a status. Productivity is held up so high and having the task list complete is like 
where it's at and we don't value much like rocking the baby or changing the diaper or even just you know playing the trains with the baby which I have been doing non-stop the last couple days because we just got a new train set which Levi is obsessed with and will not let me rest he's always got to have the train going around the track and doesn't know how to put it on himself. Anyways, that is not considered important work that I can check off on a list that I got done today. And that I think is wrong thinking. Our society values too much the tasks we need to get done and not enough building relationships. Cause family, which I feel like is like the most important thing I'm supposed to be doing here is building a healthy strong family and it's hard to measure that on a list you know loving even like working on a relationship with your spouse takes a lot of time and effort too you know what I mean anyways the point is it is very easy to get discouraged in being a stay-at-home mother because there's a lot of things that you should be getting done that you can't get done because you're busy looking after people that doesn't count as a productive thing to do. But it is the most important thing you're doing. And now I will tell you about the scripture which has encouraged me if Levi will move his head out of the way. So the story I wanted to share with you, which I have been encouraged by lately, is the story of when Jesus visits Martha and Mary in the in their home, and that is from Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42, I believe. I'm just going to read it to you because I feel like, you know, scripture is powerful. And I could just paraphrase it, but it's nice to hear it actually word by word from the Bible. So here we go. Jesus visits Martha and Mary. Now, as they went on their way, he entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him, him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks. So she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. And again, that's uh, Luke chapter 10, starting at verse 38. That scripture came to mind recently, whether, you, I don't know what you want to believe about that, if God laid that on my heart or what, but I do feel like that has been encouragement for me from the Lord through the scriptures. And I think it is true that we can very easily be distracted by the task list, what we need to get done, what we're failing at doing as people. And the devil probably loves to use that as a weapon because if we're feeling like a failure and bad about ourselves and we're getting depressed, we are not able to be as loving and giving in our other relationships because our cup is empty. When we can fill up on encouragement from the word and feel okay about what we're doing as a mother, then I think like our relationship is better. Our kids uh, benefit from that. And because as a mother, we are the first church to our kids. By that, I mean, we are the first experience our children get of 
Christ and his love and his forgiveness and um, what love, God's love looks like. And that is a huge, valuable role that we play in our children's lives. And that should not be diminished at all. And that is the most important thing that we're doing is loving our kids and pouring our time and our effort into raising these humans are very reliant on you and that's a huge role you're playing in God's kingdom and entrusted in basically motherhood is a huge missionary role that you are giving so much of yourself to raise these little tiny souls that rely so much upon you and that you are able to give God service through that, through, you know, everything, through changing the diapers, getting the, feeding the kids, playing with the kids, nurturing them, and all of that, that we should be putting more value on in this society than the task list. The task list is the secondary. The first job, the most important job that we're doing as stay-at-home mothers or mothers, any kind of mothers, I guess, doesn't matter. Just in my case, it's stay-at-home. But is that I am serving my God by loving and cherishing and helping these young souls grow up. So, yeah, there's that. And I do think that scripture about Martha and Mary um, is very relevant to the situation and that the more important work is the relationship and sharing Christ with the child. And... Uh, yeah, you can easily just be doing that by loving and serving them. And that is our mission as mothers. Thank you for watching this. I hope this was encouraging to somebody. Uh, and if not, know that you're not alone in feeling like a failure. And hopefully we can all... Uh, get past that and not fall into the devil's trap of getting depressed too much about that and focus on the mission of God. Okay, bye.